one. See, they even have millet chia, so they're trying a different one. I haven't tried that one yet. Roxy Johnson spots new gluten-free well, products each time she goes like grocery that. shopping at her local Whole Foods. This is gluten-free, and I think on this side is gluten-free too, so yes. Johnson was diagnosed with celiac disease back when hardly any companies made gluten-free anything. 16 years ago, there was nothing, nobody knew anything about it, and just this last two years, it's just exploded. Johnson says today, people with celiac can choose from rows of gluten-free cereals, breads, flour substitutes. This is actually is um, bagels. And that's great because they need to avoid gluten, the protein found in wheat and some other grains. So I usually try to get this, which has corn first, but flax, quinoa, and amaranth. Even small amounts of gluten can damage their digestive systems. You know, you want to be on the safe side still yeah. as much as possible. But Johnson has also started seeing a lot of questionable products. Foods that have always been gluten-free are suddenly scrambling to advertise that fact. Even products that no sane person would ever eat are now labeled gluten-free. Like this shampoo, prominently displayed near the registers. The gluten doesn't go through your skin and into your system. You have to eat it. So unless you're planning on eating that shampoo, it doesn't matter, you can use any shampoo. Whole Foods stocks everything from gluten-free yogurt to gluten-free salsa. There's even gluten-free glass cleaner. On certain things that are labeled gluten-free, that's just going to confuse people rather than help the issue. Liquor companies are also riding the gluten-free wave. At Kill Devil Spirit Company in Spring Valley, the stills are churning as Ray DiGilio shows me around. The spirit gets redistilled, in this case six more times, before it comes out. He describes one of his micro distilleries products. It's a vodka, but DiGilio says it isn't like Grey Goose or Absolute. His vodka is local, unfiltered, distilled in small batches. He also points out that it's gluten-free. The gluten-free thing was a choice that we made internally to say, you know, let's be conscious of this and this trend and, and these people who, you know, may have this problem, you know, this insensitivity. DiGilio didn't reinvent vodka to get rid of gluten. He sees gluten-free marketing as a way to reassure certain customers about what's in his product. Arguably, all, all vodkas could be gluten-free, but it's just better to make sure that you don't have anything in there and, and kind of lean to that side of it, you know. When it's that degree of alcohol, gluten is insoluble in alcohol. Dr. Sheila Crow of the UC San Diego School of Medicine says some gluten-free marketing has gone too far. I think now it has become overkill. For most of us, Dr. Crow says there's no clear scientific reason to abstain from gluten. For the 1% of Americans suffering from celiac, the science is clear. Gluten oh, is the culprit and needs to be cut out. But even for those with a different condition called gluten sensitivity, researchers still aren't really sure it's gluten that's actually causing their headaches, upset stomachs, and other symptoms. The science behind non-celiac gluten sensitivity is limited at the present time. In some instances, it's not probably the gluten. It may be the wheat starch causing the symptoms. And other people, it may be nothing to do with the wheat. They may have other problems, such as some of them have lactose intolerance. Dr. Crow thinks sometimes gluten is unfairly singled out. She remembers Thanksgiving, when she and her husband encountered a gluten-free turkey. It struck us as very funny that you would advertise a turkey, a piece of meat, as being gluten-free. Dr. Crow eats gluten, quite regularly, she admits. But she knows wherever it's coming from, she's not getting her gluten from glass cleaner. David Wagner, KPBS News.